Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video brought to you by Rip. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Armour 3 live server with the Altus Life Framework on any map. So, first things, obviously you need the mods for the map, whichever map you're doing. If it was Lakeside, you'd need the Lakeside mods, which you can probably find in one of my videos. If you were doing the Born Home map, you need obviously the Born Home mods, etc. You with me? Indeed. So, today we're going to do a... let's see what we've got on the... Mods. I've been to the Steam Workshop and I've downloaded a couple of new maps. Um, we could do Born Home or we could do Chino Chernobyl Zone. So let's do this Chernobyl Zone. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, Chernobyl Zone. It hasn't got any dependencies. So once you've got the mods, you need the mods obviously for the map. So let's play. Next thing you need on Armorholic, if you go to, you need the Altis Life Framework. So go to Armorholic. But I'll, I'll add all this in the. In the in the description of the video, anyway, Armorholic, and we want uh, Altis Life. Okay, so download that Altis Life framework. Blah blah blah. Download that down here, and it will be. It will look like this. Uh, do there we are. I've already copied mine across. It. It's this folder here we want, which I've already done for you. So inside, but the main thing is, whatever map you use, you've got to rename this actual folder. So everything in. I'll supply you need bar obviously the mods for whichever map you're doing but in this video I'll leave you the all the links for a Chernobyl life server if you want to use this so we might as well make it useful so you've got exdb which is for your database stuff your life server you must use the same this that's in this pack um, this we're going to rename once we once we've got the mission already we're going and we yeah we know the name of the map etc we're going to rename this uh, that's for the database. EXDB, you edit with your database information, uh, memory, and that's for how you launch your server. Right, jeez, it's been a while. So we've got that mod, we've got, we started up. So if we go to editor, Chernobyl zone, lovely. But first thing, that's why we downloaded the Axel Life framework as well. You need. Oh, let me just mute this a sec. Zoom in. Sound um, yeah, in the editor, what you need is the default mission from Altis Life, but like I say, I'm going to leave it all in here, here for you anyway, because we need to port over all the NPCs to the new map. So I've already got it, where is it? It should be this one here, so copy. Don't you worry about this guys, but this is what you'd do. Uh, I need to create a new Altis mission, which I did do, so let's, blah, 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 what am I doing? Missions, Altis Life, let's just go to this one, delete this, paste that, and this should be ready all ready to port. Let's go to Editor, Altis. Go to the 2D editor, control and O on the map selection. And we should have all the NPCs bunched up in a group ready to copy across to the new map. So, let's have a look. It's been a while since I've seen this though. FGFG, open. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, that's not. Can't be. Long mission. Um, I'm sure it uploaded it. So we'll just, we'll just, I'll show you what I have to do. Copy. Let's go to back to our missions. Missions. I thought I uploaded it on my laptop to the TeamSpeak, but uh, I don't think I have. Oh no, we did. So here it is the mission. This was the Outlast Life default framework, which I've bunched up in a group ready to copy across to our new map. So what we do, guys, is highlight all this, Control and C, and then go to. Um, load. Let's go to Chernobyl Zone. New mission. Okay. Right. So here's Chernobyl. Jeez, it's small. Is there even any point doing it on here? Should we use Born Home instead? Should we do a Born Home life instead? Okay, we'll do Born Home. There's no point even people won't even use that. So it has to be at least a little bit of helpful parameters. So all we need is Born Home. Okay. So same again, we're going to go into the editor, we're going to go into the Altus Life mission that's ready to port, we're going to highlight all those NPCs and we're going to bring them across to the Born Home map. And obviously you need to have the mod for the map for the server to obviously open. You ain't going to be able to open a map if you haven't got the mods for that map. Indeed, indeed. Right, so that's ready to port. Let's go back to the folder. This isn't going to be a, this is going to be Born Home. 
do actually like Warzone. It's always been something about it. Well, it's about wrong. Um, so yeah, this in the end is going to be I Haze dot Born Home. But there's a couple of things we need to do first. Could even whack it on the server to test it, maybe. Might as well. Come on, armor. Come on, armor. Right, so go to back to that mission, reported mission, which yeah, I'll leave this in the description as well, guys, for you to use on different maps and stuff. It saves you doing it. Although this born home mission is already going to be ready for you, but if you want to use it to do on a different map, then it's there. Uh, but we'll do that on video so you can see where I put everything. Okay, so let's go to let's open the FG FG. Okay, same again. Let's highlight all this. Control copy, and let's go to load. Go to born home. Okay. Born home hasn't got any other dependencies, which is a good thing. Well, it would have told me in the the workshop if it did. So nice, looking better. Let's control and V. There we are, fits in lovely. So obviously now guys, what you'd have to do is you go to the towns and you'd move all where you want the go-kart shop, put him in that building there, put a unit down, go preview, see where he is. That's all down to you. I'm just going to get it working for now. In the future I might edit it a little, but for now this is just showing you what you'd have to do on any map. Today we chose Borno. Uh, so first of all, these units, you need to make one of a lot of them playable to be fair. The more you make playable, the more you have slots on your server Ooh. I've subbed on uh, playable why are they going to Renault Magnums? I don't fucking know what are you gonna do? what are you gonna do? there you are, that's it, just make them playable playable and one other thing, they should have names and descriptions if you're putting new units down, make sure they have got names and descriptions guys so there's the cops, blue fort for now I'm only going to make a couple of playable just, just for testing purposes. Um, are you guys going to go back to... Oh shit, what's going on here? Cars. AAF, that was my problem. Men. Okay, rifle went. Just make him playable for now. That was unlocking. Sweet. So that's what you have to do with them. Your spawn points are going to be these markers which are around somewhere. You have to keep fighting hard to, to look. Jail release. That's where you get released when you come out of jail. Civ spawn one. So you'd move that to wherever you want the first spawn to be on your spawn point etc. Uh, I might go into more depth and, and actually make this a proper mission for you but I'll just teach, show you how to do it now. So they're the markers of spawn one and there'll be four markers as default so go around and find them, bit of a tricky one or maybe it's easier just to move them all for there while you look, while you look for them. But then put them where you want them but for now it doesn't matter just getting it working uh, and let's just save this, save as like I said let's just save it as I haze Okay, next thing guys, we need to get that mission, which was documents, blah, 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 blah. do this, missions, born home, where are you, born home, there we are, I haze, mission, okay, so we want that mission, and I'm taking it to that default artist framework, which is here, and I'm going to swap it with that one, based, and then I need to rename this folder to whatever that was called there, I haze dot born home so let's rename this um, as a capital show I haze dot born home okay right uh, a couple of things we do need to change in this folder but I'll do it for you now is the spyglass it's got to go uh, in its spy there spyglass you've got to go and it's in the functions as well. Functions, edit, spyglass. You gotta go. Okay, spawn points. Go to dialog, function, fn spawn point, cfg, edit. So if you want to rename it to your new towns, uh, just for test, test one. Oop, don't have no gap there. Test two, etc., etc., you know don't have a comma on the last entry as we've shown from previous videos so that's where you'd rename your spawn points and stuff one other thing we need to do is go to the born home core in 
hit save. Edit. Get rid of this. Delete. Save. Okay, this mission file should be good to go. So if we go back in here, let me just check. We've got the AXDB for the database stuff. Live server. It's very important you use these same ones that are in this folder. We've got the mission, we've got the database. Um, database SQL file. EXDB is for the database as well. Make sure you edit that with your server info. Task which launched the server. I use this version because all the others crash. And this is a, a decent version that's always worked. And your memory allocator. But what I'm going to drop in here as well, guys, is that port mission so you don't have to go around and move them all yourselves. So where are you? Test. What was your FFG? FFG, weren't you? FFG, FFG. So don't get confused, guys. That was the. Uh, I'll put it in there so you know. It's in there guys, okay, don't get confused. So let's zip this back up, let's go and whack it on the server and see if we can join, which we should be able to. Okay, let's go to Mega. File upload, file upload, desktop, what is it, Born Home, Born Home, did I not zip it yet, it's in Born Home, Born Home, okay, let me connect to one of my servers, let's go over here a sec. Rubber ducky one two. Okay. Alright, so we'll close this for now because this is all going to go test. Uh, da -da -da -da, it doesn't matter about those passwords. Um, right, so all we need to change now. Oh, we need to download the Born Home mod on the actual server. How long is that going to take? Um, armor 3. be pretty quick to be fair. If not depending on how quick Armaholic is. Not very. One hour left. Are you joking me? Oh jeez. Right, we might have to resume the video when this is downloaded onto the server guys. Um it's not even booting on there. Let's try somewhere else. Born home armor three. Steam Workshop's no good to me. Born Home, come on, give me some decent download links. Download Armaholic, great, which is like, what the frick? What in the world? Right guys, yeah, I'm going to have to resume it when that's downloaded. Uh, in the meantime, I'll bring that folder. Let me just, did I get that folder? No, Born Home, did I upload it? Born Home, yeah, got it, yeah. So I'm putting that Born Home folder on the server. We'll resume when it's... Let me just get it. No, it doesn't want it. More, where's the link? Get a link. I agree. Link with key, copy, paste. Download. Okay. Okay. Right. So. that folder I've just put off my desktop right so let's just get no is that one born home I've already got so let's go to my on my three directory C drive that's still called it after gun down so come on on my three so in here I need to put the app born home. As you can see, I've already got that AXDB, I've already got the app live server. I just need app born home. Uh, so the mission, we can put in the MP missions. MP missions.
missions. Based. I've already got my database set up. Um, so this is really for if you haven't got already got your Armor 3 server installed and running, then yeah, go and watch one of my tutorial videos, preferably the latest, which was uh, I think at the time to or something, um, and then come back because this is already like pre-made, showing you how to use the mission on your server. The XDB is already set up on mine. That's where you. Let's go back. So if you haven't got these, the XDB goes in your main armor directory. So you use that in the nav cap. You should know anyway. TVB is for the goes in here, and this is the TADST, which is in the armor directory as well. So we're just waiting for Born Home, which is taking ages. So yeah, we'll resume. I'll be back guys we're back the born home map is downloaded so if we go to the downloads you've got the born home and you get the at born home copy this to your armor 3 directory mine's in afghan dance steam maps combo armor 3 spot paste it in here it's your mod folder mp missions you've already put your fold your mission in there uh, so now go to your tadst um, missions select the new mission mods select born home live server and exdb Start that up. Okay, come out of that. So this is all updated. Make sure you use the XDB live server. There's your mission. We've got born home. You know how to edit the spawn points, etc. It's for your database. So yeah, everything's there that you need. I'll upload this and I'll leave this in the description. Well, hopefully we should be able to go and join. Recent. Okay. that mission that we put together continue happy days test one test two spawn on obviously now it's down to you to open up in the 2d editor and move the npcs where you want them but we're in missions up that's the start of the live server same process for any any um map out there as long as you've got the mods just port over the outer life framework etc like we just have and that's it all, everything you need is in the description if you want to create one of these yourself and yeah hope you enjoyed peace remember to like and subscribe see you again adios amigos